right, hello guys. Doing something a little bit different, as you can tell. Um, I'm going to be pouring on the state of Michigan, and that is where I'm from. So I've had these for quite a long time and have been wanting to pour on them and uh, just haven't yet. That's all. Just haven't yet. So I'm really looking forward to um, giving these a go. So I want to thank you for joining me for this video. I truly appreciate you. If you're not subscribed, I really would love for you to subscribe. So please consider it. I would love to have you join me on my journey. If you've been here before, you know I appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming back and watching another video. I have already gessoed and I did lightly sand it to kind of make the surface smoother. And um, I did just wipe it down with a damp cloth and let it dry. Now, this is a, a really thin um, piece of board that I got. I actually got this at Walmart and I picked um, a few of these up because they just caught my eye and I thought, hey, that would be fun to pour on. So please forgive me any youpers that might be watching this. I know I don't have the entire state of Michigan. Michigan has a lower peninsula and an upper peninsula and they are connected by the Mackinac Bridge. So, unfortunately, Walmart did not have the Upper Peninsula. They didn't have the UP. So, I only got the Lower Peninsula. So, sorry guys. I just ordered actually some of these that have the Upper Peninsula attached to it as well. So, I'm gonna um, try to pour on some of those. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to tape the back. So I'll just kinda show you that process. So I'll let you hang out with me while I'm taping the back. I'll speed this up, of course, because it's gonna be a major snooze fest if I have you watch this slow motion with me. Um, but just kinda show you the, the process. I didn't show you from the very start. I didn't show you when I did the gasoline or gessoing or whatever that's called but let's get this going I'll speed this up I'll be back taking a popsicle stick and I am running it along the edges of the cutout just to kind of get it a little bit more snug as a bug in a rug and then I'll cut and I'll do the cutting. This is helpful when you do canvases too, is to take a popsicle stick and rub like this along the edges because it gives it a good seal. take my exacto knife and I got this really cool um, mat here for cutting it works amazing I'm just gonna cut along the edges 
ta-da, just like that. Okay, that is done. Beautiful. Looks like there's a little spot here. Yeah, just a little bit showing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this popsicle stick again and just really press down. And I'm pushing it like you can see how it's indented because I'm, I'm rubbing it right on the edge. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, I think that's good. I mean, it, there's a little bit that's over this way, but that's not an issue. That is going to be fine. It's not covering the edges, so the edges will still get a little bit. It's not going to make a big deal, honestly. If I fussed with it, I'd be fussing with it all night, and I would never get the pour done, so... As long as the back is covered and it's not bothering your edges then you should be good to go all right go ahead and get this started I've just got these <laughs> these are just two paper uh, or the rolls left from my um, my tape my Molly stands are both sets are being used right now so I'm just gonna use that and it works perfect. All right, make sure you're in view and then we'll get started. Okay. Um, since Michigan is known for the Great Lakes, guess what I'm gonna be doing? I am going to be doing a beach pour. So I think I'm gonna do flip cups. All right, I'll bring you back for the colors and we'll get going. Okay guys, I am back with the colors that I'm going to be using. So I'll go through them real quick and then um, to each of them I'm going to be adding a drop of silicone oil. So this isn't the, the whoops, wrong way. <laughs> um, this is the, tr the treadmill oil, but I found this on Amazon. Um, I've had it for a little while. I haven't tried it yet, but I thought I would try um, and see what it would look like with a bunch of cells kind of popping through. I think it might look pretty cool. So I haven't even used this yet, so I'm going to put a drop in each one. Um, but first, I will show you the colors, and then I'll mix that silicone. All right, so this is, this is Liquitex Prussian Blue, Amsterdam Greenish Blue, this is Turquoise Blue by uh, Liquitex, Iridescent Green Blue by Pebio. This is Sky Blue Light by Amsterdam. And then this color here is a combination of the Phthalo Gold by Grumbacher and Light Portrait Pink by Blick. I had both of these left over. I don't know, you can see like the gold in it. I might end up doing, we'll see when I do the beach part. I mean, obviously, there's not a lot of surface here to cover. Um, to give it some depth, I'm going to probably add another color to this. But I'm not going to put any silicone in that one. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, oops. 
put a drop in each one and give it a quick little stir. I'm anxious to see how this will work. I'm only doing one drop because they're such small cups. I don't know if that's the right move or not. We'll find out, I guess. Um, because I don't, I don't use silicone. But I thought I would just to see what happens. All right, hopefully it doesn't. One, oh, oh, oh. One. 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 And one. We'll see if that's enough to make a difference. All right, so give them a quick little stir. Stir, stir, stir. Whoops. I want to thank you all. Um, my latest video, which was also part of the Little Pouring Art Family collaboration, I want to thank, um, thank all of you who watched it in its entirety. I know it was a long video. Um, it ended up being a two for one. I had a bonus pour because I ended up with, um, I, I ended up with a lot of, or about half, let me see, I only used half of the cup. Um, so I, I couldn't let it go to waste. So I did another pour and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to include this in this video. So it was definitely longer. So any of you that watched it in its entirety, Thank you. You are the best. Um, watching my videos does help my channel grow. Um, I'm here doing this channel for one, for myself, and and for you. Like I really love putting out content um, that people enjoy, and hopefully you all do. And um, I hope to inspire you. I, if you learn something, that's wonderful. But I appreciate you helping me on my journey. Okay, so let's get these cups going. And I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm just gonna do two. And then, I wonder if I should put, maybe I'll put some color do I have that I could put in? I have, oh, um, maybe that's what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of this in and do another little flip cup right here for the beach. This is bronze. Just to give a little bit of depth to it maybe. We'll see. I'll add that. Let me grab another cup. Okay, here we go. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll put that one there. This one here. I might float them. I might try to float them. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. to this whoops <laughs> whoopsie getting used to this new view the only thing I have noticed is with it being directly above that I feel like my my hand blocks the view of what I'm doing sometimes and I don't like that so I'm trying to see how I can make it better for you all I wish I could show you Jilly, my my Jilly, <laughs> my pooch. She is standing right by me, staring at me. I don't know what she wants. She's a silly girl. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What are you 
doing? Okay. Let's get there's some beach. And I'm not gonna add a lot of this to it. See how high I can pour just to get it to mingle. She thinks I'm talking to her. <laughs> I must be triggering her. <laughs> Just a minute, baby. Let mama finish. Okay. Let's get these babies flipped. All right. Here we go. Are you still there? Yep, you're still there. Ooh. Whoa. Now we'll let that sit for a minute. Tap, tap, tap. I always see everybody tapping. I don't know if it makes a difference. I'm excited to see what this silicone is going to do. I am excited. Oh my gosh, you guys gotta, hold on, I'm gonna show you. Let me take it out. attention because um, my daughter and my daughter Jordan and her boyfriend have a dog he's a Weimaraner his name is Jaeger and he has been hanging out with grandma um, last week and this week because his dad is gone on a trip and his mom is working during the day so Jill has not been getting the attention she usually gets, so I think she's a little frustrated with me and wants my attention. So, we will get some snuggles, I promise, babe. Okay, I think it's time. I think we can uh, let these puppies go. I think I should take the beach first, right? Do you guys think? Alright, I'm gonna try to... That over here a little bit so I don't lose too much of it. All right, I'm gonna do this one next. Float it, float it, float it. Oh my goodness gracious! <gasps> Look at it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Let's float this sucker around. Oh, oh, okay, guys. Check that out. Okay, I didn't get these super close, so let's start. Let's start tilting. Okay, let's bring this down.
Okay guys, so first of all, sorry my head keeps popping in. Um, maybe my arms are too short <laughs> for this um, overhead view. Anyways, um, I decided I wanted the colors to blend a little bit more. So I took some paper towel, cut it into strips, got the ends of them wet and just kind of started going through it with the paper towel. And I love how it turned out. I love the blending. Um, it was pretty before, but I'm much happier now that I did this. It's exactly what I envisioned for this piece. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, guys, I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. I'm going to clean up the edges, make sure there's paint on all the little spots, and I'll bring you down. Well, I thank you for joining me, and I hope that you decide to come back again and watch another video. Please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. I would greatly appreciate it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. All right, guys, till next time. Bye. This has turned out so beautiful, you guys. I really love it. And I hope you like it too. I will end up putting a photo of the finished piece on my social media and I'll share it in an upcoming video as well. I'm not sure yet if I'll varnish it or resin it, but anyways, I hope you like it.